ass. But was you a hooper? Oh, definitely. Was Jay a hooper? Yeah, he hoop. He wasn't like you. He wasn't like you. I tell people, yo, when it came to sports, you know what it is. So I'm gonna be, yo, I'm picking him first. You gonna be, you know what lineup you gonna be. I'm telling you, like, I'm that dude. They calling me out the window, yo. You my first pick, are you coming down? You feel me? And Jay gonna be one of those guys that you mean like, okay, fourth round pick, fifth round pick, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, oh, they're not he picking. playing ball, but he wasn't, you know. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Man, listen, man, we got a guy in here today, man, from the Big Apple. It's going down, man. <laughs> the king, man. He in the building, man. De Haven is back in the building, man, on Boss Talk 101, man. What up, baby? I'm in Dallas. Man, Dallas, Texas, man. Stand up. De Haven is Dallas. here, man. Man, Dallas. what's going on, man? Hey, what brings you to town? Man, you just flying around this nah, thing. I told you I was coming out here. <laughs> I owe you one. I owe you one. <laughs> I enjoyed New York, man. You man. showed me so much love. Man, Marcy's pro- What you think about Marcy's? Loved it. Loved it. Because you always hear about it, but it's never, you know, experienced it. And you made us felt so man, at home. so at home, And it was bro. so dope the scene where you grew up, the house, the apartment. You, Jay-Z. Where Jay Z. Yeah. Grew up. <laughs> oh, that's I right. Mean, we went up in the elevator. Yes. And everything, right? Yeah. Yo. Yo. Boss okay, Talk 101. Boss Talk. Boss Talk. We're in Marcy. You know where we at. I had to come over here, man, and see it for myself. Yeah, we on Boss Talk I'm with TV. the guys right here. Hey, we here. Marcy Maid, check this out. You hear that? You know you in the hood. In the hood, they know. That's our word. That's our word. You see that? When they say five, three, four. That's where I went down. That's where we went down. Nah, this is uh, this was our building. This is it. So we in here. So when I tell you it was 20, it's 24 apartments in here, and that's your family, four apartments on each floor. That's it. Yeah, so I, it, I may stay nights in there with, with my whole, my Spanish family, you know what I'm saying? Um, I might be knocking this chick down here. <laughs> Give or take at that time, you got I'm gonna take the change over the years, though. I'm gonna take the change, you know, the look of it. They keep, no, they just keep re, uh, renovating, upgrading, upgrading. Okay. Shit get old, you know? Shit start cracking up. They need to rebuild it, this, that, and the third. It's, it's, that's how they do. But it looks so big from the outside, but you're saying it's only four. It's four apartments on each side. So but mind you, it's three bedrooms. That's another part, that's another building. Oh, okay. That's 532 over there, this is 534, and that's 536. Okay. So it's four, it's three different, we call it the three section. And we in the middle. This is the fifth floor. Fifth floor. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You got Jay here, and you got my crib here. So, oh, so, so you, Jay stayed here? Yeah. And you stayed there? And I stayed there in the corner. Oh, in the corner? Yeah. And my other friend stayed there. I mean, we was all, we would be in the hallway. This, this is where everybody would hang out. Hang out. We wow. either gonna be in here rapping. Late night. Late night, daytime. This would be a hangout for us when well, we can't go out. I gotta ask something. Did you really feel like y'all just didn't hang out or you just felt normal? Felt normal. It normal. was normal. As a kid, grew up. Yeah, we running you through this hallway. We playing tag from upstairs, downstairs, running. You know, some days you ain't gonna be able to go out. Why do you think? Do you think Jay ever came back here? Yeah, he comes back. He I think he sneaks back, back at night and, <laughs> be, and wish he could come back and shit and, be, and sit on the bench and be like, "This is it. This is what it felt like." And shit. Yeah, Probably. Yeah, I'm just guessing, but, but you know he I do it. And, and then I went back and looked at some footage where he was talking about it too. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I, I wanted to ask you. I had seen, man, were you there when Drake came over there and did that? Nah, uh, nah, nah. Them dudes, that was so they just beat. came in and <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm trying I to understand mean, what the hell was that? Like, yo, like bro, they he all not, do he it. just nah, doing it for no, what? No, but Jay made that shit like that, man. It, it, it be you'd be surprised, man. It be bus loads of tourists, man, come through there and. Take pictures with Marcy sign just on the string for that. Like Marcy's are iconic now. It's a it's a landmark thing now. 
When you think about just the people who came through there, I've seen a few people that do did you know interviews. I mean, videos there, and they they basically want to feel what you guys experienced growing see up. It. No, they want to feel it. Like yeah. they want to see it. They want to <laughs> feel it. They're trying to get as close as they can to connect. It's to like it. a museum. What is the thing that you think if a person's coming there? You, you showed us the roof. I don't know. I ain't seen none of them niggas on the roof, though. <laughs> See, that's the whole game right yeah, there. Well, I was with the, with the, with the, yeah. the, the, the king, nigga. <laughs> I was with that guy. Like, I'm on the roof. Like, when you took us up there, like, I tripped out because of the way the scenery was up there. And just, I could feel the vibe of how you guys was up there as youngsters, man. Yeah. And just the whole experience and you showing us. We just want oh, no. Hell no. In hills, you're gonna have a couple of dollars. You stay over there. That's my hat. You see this skyline here? Uh -huh. Oh, that's my hat right down there. You can see, you can see everything from right here. You can just make a whole circle and see everybody. No, uh, it's just about. There's some things you. This city big. You gotta get way up there to see that. You used to shoot this dude. Yeah, we used to come up here and test our guns out. On that door right there, be like and see how big the holes, uh, what kind of caliber you got. Wow. That shit used to be switched up. <laughs> switched up. Go through the door? Yeah, yeah. Oh, somebody couldn't be standing. Yeah. Nah, nobody sitting on the other side of that shit. Nah, nobody doing that. But that's how you could tell you hear something going boom, 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 boom. Nah, this is all upgraded shit. This shit was rocks and shit up here yeah, and all that yeah, type of shit. Yeah. And um. Nah, this, this is all different. This is all new. So this, this, this ain't even a year old. This, this big time. Right yeah, this is big time. This, this ain't this time. ain't no this ain't a year old. It's new roof. Yeah. This is all new. They they putting in the upgrade so they look expecting new people to live in here. Man, like like when you go in that building and, and when you go over there, you know all the history. Like when I go home, I know yeah, the history. You know the history. And, and 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 ain't nobody gonna just feel that. Now I was feeling the vibe because I was with you and you was telling me right. about the girls on you I think it was we was on fifth, but y'all elevate on six, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, stop on the sixth floor. Yeah. <laughs> so and you walk up to the roof, yeah. And you walk up to the roof, right. man. And like, where they play basketball in the hallway, yeah. all of that. And oh, y'all yeah, just months. young, you know, at the end of the day. So, okay, Dave, let's get, let's get into it, man. Like, when you first, you, you, you a young dude, you over in Marcy's, man, you don't really know, you know, what's going to become of who y'all are. You, you At this point, y'all so young, and y'all just basically trying to figure it out. I'm, I've been in the projects as a kid. Was it some days that, like, y'all was like, damn, man, like, we broke as hell? Like when y'all were kids, the lights never went off. See, in the project for me, the lights went off in Vegas. I remember nah, that shit. You know why? Y'all niggas Yo, had you know money. Why? Nah, because you shared. You shared. You went next door and you borrowed an egg. You went next door and you said, "Yo, he ain't got no phone." You went over there and said, "Can I use your phone?" You shared. It never felt. You didn't feel poverty. You didn't feel broke. So you shared. You shared, you know what I'm saying? So I can't never say that you can. Uh, I ever felt that we ever felt that kind of thing. You know what I mean? Because it was so... I'm talking about you've been in the building. There's 24 families in there. We shared. All 24 bombs, families knew each other. If bleep bombs don't have the eggs, we go on to this bombs. We don't have... This one don't have a phone. Then when, I, when, I, when I took you in there, I wanted to show you that this is going to be your family. See, it's different for y'all because maybe y'all just y'all neighborhood right, right there, that block, this and this. But you living in a building with 24 families. You shared. You know what I'm saying? It's a possibility if your mom, you was locked out, you had somewhere to go and sleep. So you shared, but so I can never feel like we was hot, we was broke, we was poor or whatever. So when you you go upstairs and you come down, like when y'all would get out to go, y'all walk to school. Y'all didn't catch y'all didn't catch no, school. no public transportation. Y'all nah. basically just walked to school. We gonna walk to school. We went, you know, yeah. You zoned into your school like a couple of streets away, and that's it. Yeah. Wow, wow. So I think I think what 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 really blew blew my mind was that walk when you come out. And, and where we came out at, and then you make that right, and you go up toward the highway, and you gonna look and see what's going down. That's the hangout. <laughs> yeah. That's the damn hangout. Was it, it, it street lights? Did they go off and come on, or they was always on? 
Man, the demographics changed in that community. Like you could, you, you would never imagine. Everything I showed you that was not there. You know what I'm saying? We had a grass where we could run around in the grass. We okay. had a, a grass where we could play baseball at and this and that. So all that has changed. So it looked different to you guys. Yeah, cause was the basketball court there then and all that? It was that? a better basketball court than it is now. You know what I'm saying? We had a, it was just a circle and, you know what I mean? All of that has changed, man. And that area was predominantly black? Oh, yeah, predominantly black. You because see it was a shock when we went down there and, and you, you showed it. what's living in our neighborhood. Yes. <laughs> right. But was you a hooper? Oh, definitely. Was Jay a hooper? Yeah, he hoop. He wasn't <laughs> like you. Like <laughs> no, he wasn't like, like you. Yeah, like yeah. I tell people, yo, when, when it came to sports, you know what it is. So I'm gonna be, yo, I'm picking him first. You're gonna be, you know what lineup you're gonna be. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, I'm that dude. They calling me out the window, yo. You my first pick, are you coming down? You feel me? And Jay gonna be one of those guys that you mean like, okay, fourth round pick, fifth round pick, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, well, they're not he playing ball, but he wasn't, you know. He wasn't heavy in the ball like he nah, was he on that, on the, on, the, on, nah, on the rap. I was the one that, that actually shot up out of nowhere. I started, you know, dunking on the older guys and shit. Like, I had that agility and that sportsmanship with me coming up. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. And and did you, did, when you were young, did you ever think about, like, man, I'm a ball out when I'm in school? Or, or you were just doing it for the street ball? Nah, I was doing that in the school. I made it through school. I was doing it in the street. You know what I'm saying? Um, I say it in... Um, I, I say it in one of the... Um, you wanted to be an NBA posts. player? That how basketball, yeah, I was, you know, how basketball led me to where I'm at. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, if I would have stayed focused in school, I would have been, I know I would have went to the NBA. Mm. No you know doubt. No, I ain't no doubt, bro. Just, you just based on my game and my how my life, how it all worked out. Because I ain't go, once I got in high school, man, I really didn't go want to go to school no more. My coach was like begging me. Like, yo, just show up. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, man, I ain't going to class. He like, just show up. You're going to pass. Mm -hmm. So basketball has gotten me to, you know, throughout a little, throughout my career. But even that, with my coach really caring about me, sent me to a high school in Jersey where I started hustling. Right, you know, right. That's where Jersey come mm -hmm. in at. But those are all the, 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 um, the sequences that I got lined up with that basketball has shaped me to be where I'm at now, because I I use that a tool as part of my blueprint to where every little town and little state that I was hustling in, I, I I'm gonna get in through basketball. Basketball Did, like a universal like communication with hustlers or some shit. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.